Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Yes, by the title of this video, you have seen it. We are starting the conversation for the first time in FIFA 22 about Team of the Season because it might be here sooner than you think. And what I want to do in this video is just kind of take a look at how you can maybe start to prepare really just very early thoughts and just kind of a heads up, honestly, about team of the season information, how it could impact the market whenever it gets released. It still might not be for a couple weeks, but there's a lot of stuff that we have to think through and talk through, especially because seems like things have been happening earlier in the FIFA calendar this year. So maybe team of the season is going to be earlier because of a few certain reasons. I want to talk about that and how the market again could be impacted and when is the time to sell. We're going to start that conversation a little bit today as well because team of the season will impact the market big time. I also want to take a look at yesterday's content on Tuesday. Just as we thought it was going to happen, we had ourselves the campaign bag player pick SBC re-released once again. EA Sports following you know their usual trend and repeating themselves from the previous week. We had this again repeatable two times, same requirements, same everything. Talk about SBC fodder because it went up in the initial hype of the SBC, but then it actually dropped afterwards. Um, and so I'm just holding all the stuff that I bought still on my transfer list in the club, the club stock that we did. I'm still holding all my fodder at the moment. And, uh, you know, just going to wait until EA releases more content because there will be some that'll make fodder go up. It's just a matter of when. That's how it always is with fodder. And then also take a look at some leaks. We have a new team of the week coming today, of course. It's Wednesday. And there's going to be a headliner upgrade potentially from this current team of the week. So I want to take a look at that. And also how the market moved yesterday and some showdown SBC leaks um, that could be coming pretty soon as well. This was pretty relevant because one of the games that the leak is for is this Sunday between Juve and uh, Inter Milan. So we have to take a look at that and talk about that leak. And then also we'll take a look at the market as well. How we made a few coins yesterday flipping some cards um, just off of the rarity of things and just off of cards. Still trying to sell a few of them to be completely honest. But it was a bit of a quieter day on the market even with the player pick released. Uh, but we'll talk about how the market moved yesterday as well in this video. So if you're getting excited for team of the season and you want to start thinking about that a little bit, make sure to hit the thumbs up on the channel and subscribe if you're new. Now, let's go back to that point. Team of the season, right? This promo is usually towards the end of this month in April. So you're like, Nate, why are we talking about this? It's still March. Well, here's the reason why we're talking about it. Because everything around this year in FIFA, content-wise, has revolved around leaks, right? Leaks come out early. We knew about Team of the Season voting ahead of time, a good ways ahead of time, right? And last year, what really caused the start of the Team of the Season market crash was the leak that the team of the season community voting, which the community squad for team of the season or team of the season most consistent as it's often called, that is a voted in team. And last year that voting started a week before team of the season actually dropped. Now team of the, team of the season last year was released on April 23rd. Now this year, could it be earlier? That's kind of our initial question. And we might not end up knowing for another couple of weeks when team of the season is going to be, but again, that's the whole point of talking this through and talking about what we know and what we might expect already. As of this year, so many things have been early, right? March 4th and March 11th is when we had the releases for the teams of Foot Birthday, which back in FIFA 21, we had those. Foot Birthday was going on right now, last year. A year ago in this game, we were in Foot Birthday, which is seemingly a lot later. But it makes sense why some of these promos may have been shifted up this year because we have in August the start of the brand new season because everything for this this year of 2022 has to be shifted a little bit earlier uh, because of the World Cup being in November and December that really, you know, the leagues have to start earlier. Um, and you, you just wonder if EA is going to kind of take that approach as well with the game um, and, you know, doing the team of the season a little bit earlier and just kind of thinking through a few of those things. Not necessarily for sure on that. That's just kind of me putting some things together, talking through some things, thinking about it a little bit. There could be a little bit of potential there. And also, it just seems like what promo is next, right? Right now, we are in the Fantasy Foot promo. Um, it just seems like that team of the season promo is what everybody is wanting next. And it seems like it should be next or it should be pretty soon. I think everybody, we're getting into that stage where everybody wants the team of the season to be soon too. So that's going to start impacting the market too, just because people are hoping for that and they're wanting to see news and leaks and stuff about team of the season. But again, why do we have to talk about all this stuff, right? Why are we talking about this promo that might be still a month out? Because it is a top three promo 
period, on the year of FIFA, and it changes the market so much. It literally resets the market because all of these cards that get released are just next level, right? You look at these cards, right? You you guys remember these teams and these players from last year. The reason why Team of the Season impacts the market so much is because these cards are insane, and especially this year in FIFA 22 where the power curve is, all of the insane cards that we have already, some of these cards without upgrades from Fantasy Foot look like they're tots level items compared to previous years in FIFA. Now, just imagine what's going to happen this year when they give the Team of the Season boosts out. And the pack weight is so much higher and everything is so much cheaper this year in FIFA. If you look at the prices from last year's Team of the Seasons, like Team of the Season Premier League in the first week, Luke Shaw, like look at the, the stats in this left pack, right? 91 pace, 88. He's basically almost 90 in every stat besides shooting. And he's got the 91 pace. And he was 285K first week that he was in packs, right? After the first weekend. You know, of course, that doesn't seem that expensive for this year. And you're like, okay, whatever. But in last year's market, when everything was so much more expensive, that was insanely, insanely cheap. Now, again, just imagine how cheap and how supplied the TOTS cards are going to be this year with the way the market is run, the way the pack weight is on FIFA 22. So the market is 100% going to drop. It's going to drop for two reasons. Number one, People are going to sell cards because they know Team of the Season is coming and they're going to sell cards because they're excited about brand new ones coming out into the game. That's going to be a reason, number one, where they're selling cards. There's new items coming out, but number two, they're going to sell cards is because they expect the market to drop. And the exact same reasons that we are talking about, there is going to be panic selling for Team of the Year because people know what this will do to the market and it's going to impact the entire market it's going to pack gold cards like mbappe it's going to pack your fantasy full cards like we were just looking at right even though they're live and upgrading items it's going to impact those cards in the market too it's going to impact everything that is meta right it's also going to impact fodder because people might even start to sell some fodder cards because with team of the season comes very cheap high rated players some people will be worried that that might drop some of those other higher tier players that have been up in price recently because of fodder going up and we're going to have an influx of higher rated cards that are going to be very packable and very cheap so the market is going to drop we might be one week away from the start of that we might be two weeks away all i'm trying to do today in the video is telling you about team of the season it might be early this year the one thing that i would say is i think that we are in that next week to two weeks especially this next week we don't know what promo is coming next. Fantasy Foot is ending, right? The Road to the Final cards go out of packs on Friday. The Fantasy Foot cards go out of packs on Friday. After that, we don't have any leaks. It's a Wednesday today. Sometimes we get loading screens on Wednesdays. We have no info as of right now, which is fine. No complaints. Just being honest and telling you what you know the vibe is on the market. Uh, we, we have no information about what's coming next. So if that next information that we get is some, something Team of the Season related or a vote or, you know, depending on what is next that could even start impacting the market as soon as this week so i'm not trying to tell you to panic sell i'm not trying to tell you to hurry and to get out of cards because i think a lot of the market is dropping some of the market has already started to drop some of this higher tier icon moments cards some of the um you know other promo cards from previous promos you know some of your team of the year cards they've slowly started to trickle down a little bit but that's just kind of what I want to talk about today is just start to be thinking about, hey, what untradeable team can I use? What, you know, SBC am I working on right now that I want to finish so I can have this untradeable player in my team? Like for me, it's Mbappe. What kind of team am I going to start planning to use if I would sell the tradable players that I have in my squad over the next week or two? So just start to kind of plan stuff out and really watch for leaks. Leaks is what is going to catapult the panic forward and start the selling. I mean, I mean, even yesterday, I was thinking that, hey, we might be getting soon and getting close to this team of the uh, season leak stuff because moments are nine. There were nine moments are nines up on the market. There was like a huge moment of panic selling on this moments are nine. And then again, like I mentioned, a lot of the icon moments in general, if I take a look at like like Eto right now, this guy was 2.9 million coins on the weekend. He's 237, man. Like what? Like some of these icon moments have dropped down incredible amounts just in the past couple of days. So I'm not saying that team of the season is on our doorstep. I'm just saying that it is, it's approaching, right? It's, it's walking up the, the sidewalk to the doorstep, right? If I stick with that analogy. So it's just coming decently soon. So start to think about what cards you want to sell off and stuff like that in the next week or so. And again, watch out for those leaks. That's kind of all I have to say about it right now. We're going to dive in heavy to team of the season research, market prep, selling cards, when to buy, when to sell. It's going to be just like Black Friday 
and team of the year where there's a lot of panic selling because everybody expects a big promo. But team of the season is also different too because you know it's all focused around the certain league, right? Not just one week, it's spread out five to six weeks in total. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. There's gonna be a lot to cover and there's gonna be a lot of market craziness. And that starts with the preparation beforehand, which is kind of what we're starting with today. So that's enough about team of the season. Again, if you have any questions, drop them down below in the comments for sure. Let's focus on what's today, right? In the here and the now. The current team of the week, of course, uh, which has been battered and beaten in price by lightning rounds. Now, some of the fodder cards have gone up a little bit, like my guys like Bartra, uh, Kloss. If any of you guys invested in those, you're chilling, right? Informs went up yesterday. They're still up a little bit. Even this gentleman's son, was he at 120 right now? So, he is up a little bit in price, but these cards are finally not going to be hit with any more lightning round supply after today. They're going to be going out of packs, which by the way, speaking of lightning rounds, EA ran LRs yesterday. So they have ran lightning rounds every day since Friday. Uh, it's, it's crazy. EA is really chasing the bag. Are they doing some right now? Okay. They're not doing any late night ones right now, but I'm recording this kind of late. So uh, it's just crazy to see how many lightning rounds they're going after. They're probably going to run more today on Wednesday. Now, again, speaking of today, we do have some leaks for the team of the week. This from Mr. Sheriff right here are the cards we're expecting with confirmed stats. Couple position changes in here, which is kind of cool because again, all these cards are from the uh, international break that's happened this past week. One, I guess, L part about this week's team of the week will be no dynamic images because of that very nature that we just talked about. Um, Navas, Di Maria, Chameni, Luke Shaw, a center back Tierney, um, a striker Bergwijn, which is kind of cool. I'd be excited to get that card if I had the opportunity to get him. But these are some of the big names that are in Team of the Week today. Now, also, another card that is leaked to be in Team of the Week for a headliner upgrade today is Mr. Luis Diaz. His card has been on a roller coaster ride uh, since Monday. Started off at about 200,000 coins. Uh, people started buying into him because I think they got some leaks and they just started doing, okay, this guy might be getting an upgrade for a Team of the Week card. He peaked all the way at 290 on Xbox and 330 on PlayStation. And now he's back down um, a little bit as people kind of bought that card up in the, in the immediate investment and they're now selling it off a little bit. This guy is, if he is in Team of the Week, which it is leaked that he is, he will be getting a plus one today. So his headliner item will go to an 89 rated card. He's up a lot in price again. Um, and his inform would only be, be, I believe, since this card is 88 rated, his inform would be an 85 today. So his, again, his... Um, yeah, with the fact that this card is going to be the highest rated and his next best special card is an 83 rated inform from his uh, before he transferred to Liverpool when he was at Porto. His inform today would only be an 85, uh, but this card would go up to an 89. So that's got some people hyped about this Luis Diaz today. No Neymar in Team of the Week as a lot of people were expecting. So the Winter Wild Cards version of Neymar rebounded a little bit. Uh, this guy was down to like 2.1 million coins. And now he is back up. He's still 2-3. He's still a little bit low. But this could continue rebounding back up a little bit after people see for sure that Neymar is not in the excuse me team of the week today. So that's some big news. Now also, this is some pretty big news. We have some leaks to discuss and discover right now. This was posted yesterday. And I think this could either be today or tomorrow. Now also, again, we talked about earlier in the week, we have the Yarmolenko and Thiago Mendes showdown for the Champions or Europa League game happening next week. And this is, maybe they're kind of coming back here into a showdown scenario where they want to actually put out some showdown SBCs, which is totally fine. But this is the next one that is uh, leaked to be up next, probably today or tomorrow, maybe Friday at the latest, because this game is on Sunday, Juve and uh, interplay on Sunday, Brozovic McKenney. I am really excited about this McKenney card. That's going to be nice for the United States squad. Uh, this guy's pretty decent in game too. Base gold card. He's been known to be pretty well. P people liked his card from last year at the end of FIFA 21. Brozovic though, gives some really nice links to that Perisic card. Really nice links to that Perisic. The Serie A's getting a lot of love lately. So if this hypes you up at all, if these are cheap, Again, potential plus two upgrades for the winner of this game, plus one if it's a draw. Um, stats are predicted, of course, so they could juice these up even more. But that is the leak that is going around right now. Be on the lookout for that if that pertains to you. And then also, another interesting leak here is the another Fantasy Foot SBC, Medina. Center back for Lens in the League One, Argentinian links, which is kind of interesting. It'd be a green link to Messi. Uh, but this, of course 
had the Fofana special card up earlier today, and he's kind of gone back up again. So this leak for Medina came out, and Fofana went to 530. He was actually 550 for, for a quick moment. He went back down to 500. Now he's 530 again. The reason why this card would be kind of hyped is because it would actually create a really nice triangle uh, with Medina, Fofana, and Kloss. Now, this guy's card doesn't look that insane. Uh, he's got really high sprint speed. Again, if they give him a pretty big boost, I don't believe these are confirmed stats yet. But if they give this card a nice boost, we did the um, we did the math and we did the digging yesterday. He does play a lot for Lens. He starts just about every single game. They have won a few games and they have kept a clean sheet. So potential plus three on this card, depending on how they play after, of course, the April 1st time frame when these cards start. But medium, medium work rates and stocky body type is a little bit of an L. But again, if this SBC, if it comes out in the next couple days and it's cheap people will do it people will craft it because that's a league one center back they can try out um and it would link to Fofana and Kloss which people are hyped about that Kloss since he just got that upgrade so that's kind of the whole league situation and what's going on right now in this game in terms of uh news related to leaks oh this Eto sold at 148 okay that, or sorry not Eto Fernando Torres that's a dub I bought a couple Fernando Torres tonight in the low 14s and it looks like he might be going up and I'm kind of interested in this Eto man because Wow, two, three, five. I'm telling you, this is so cheap for this card. It's ridiculous that these icon moments are, are dropping off so much. But it also does make sense. Um, also, side note, you see my badge, the, the club badge up here in the top right? I don't know if any of you guys have had this issue. I, I've heard from some other people it's been an issue too. Um, I had the EMLS badge. Uh, that's my squad. I'm, do, I'm doing the uh, Moses Simon and the Lo Celso objective at the moment. But um, some people had this badge as, as well as me, and it all of a sudden turned into this like standard FIFA 22 badge. I don't know what's going on. It was supposed to be the EMLS badge. So EA just deleted that from the game or whatever with this new update. So thanks, EA Sports. Uh, I watched that event. Well, I left my computer on while that stream was running for nothing, I guess. Anyways, hopefully that changes back. But I just saw that was that happened randomly today on stream. It just changed away. So I hope EA fixed that back. I kind of like that EMLS badge. It was kind of nice. Anyways. Let's talk about what happened yesterday on the market just a little bit. Again, we did have the campaign bag player pick as expected. Now, when this was leaked, when this SBC was leaked, what you saw was SBC fodder actually rose. And I can show you perfectly here on the graph on Footbin. This will paint the picture and you guys know what happened, right? The leak came out, fodder rose up a bit, and then the SBC came out, fodder stayed there for a bit. But then everybody who invested started listing and the card prices actually went down instead of up take a look at devry 7.8k right he's been pretty low this week he's been around that 7k range so we went from like 8100 coins he went all the way up to almost 9k where he was on 9k on xbox then down to 7.6 now back up a little bit it's it's kind of been crazy it didn't help that they released lightning rounds yesterday so if you've invested in fodder these cards are kind of like back down to just a little bit above where we bought them uh I, i'm not panic selling i'm not scared i'm not worried Honestly, what I'm doing is just holding. That's the game with fodder. We were hoping that fodder would go up faster and quicker this week, but it's really not happening as of right now. Hopefully, a couple of these SBCs that are leaked, maybe with, with another sort of like party bag pack or gamble pack or something like that, would push this a bit higher. But as for right now, this is why I don't fodder invest, right? I put some in the club, put some on the transfer list, wait for it to rise and call it good. Uh, and that's kind of what I'm doing. It's also helped me out a little bit with player of the month in Bape since I bought some 86s. I'm probably going to use a few of those in the, the SBC when I'm finishing that up. So, um, you know, if you invested in this stuff though, just keep holding, right? Again, it comes with time. And if we are headed into team of the season, which we are, there's no, you know, if we are, we are heading into team of the season, just like before other big promos this year, EA is going to have some more coin sinks, right? We're going to have more icon SBCs, more gamble packs. So don't think that fodder, oh my goodness, it's never going to rise. It is going to rise. Do not worry. We will get back to a point where it will go up before a team of the season in the next week or two, max, honestly, um, just because that's how content is on this game this year. So yeah, but the campaign player pick itself was very average. I did it. Um, I got Alexis Sanchez, who I actually turned in. Uh, to an Mbappe SBC shortly before that. And I also picked up a Papu Gomez. So the pack weight yesterday on those was was poor per usual campaign bag, P-A-I-N, pain. That's the joke, right? It was not very good. And a lot of the rest of the market didn't move too much. Now, I did pick up a couple items that were panic sold. And honestly, what we're learning is it's the lower tier stuff that does not do as well. We talked about that in yesterday's video too. I actually picked up a Tony Cruz yesterday for 537 on bid and sold it for 577 
uh, later on in the hour or two after that when he bounced back. So that's more of a rare card, higher budget, but I saw that he was down, so I kind of went for it. Same thing with the Cordovas, right? He was 220, picked him up, especially with some lightning rounds. I picked him up for like 220, sold him for 240. Um, and then with the Fofana as well, I picked up a couple of these at 497, and he's rising up uh, a little bit. Did I have anything else? Oh, yeah, I picked up... Um, I see there's my fodder that I have. I picked up a Neuer at 142 and an Ansu Fati at 697. Again, just kind of kind of more of rare cards. They really haven't risen that much. Uh, if I take a look at their prices, I think Neuer did go back to um, 160 at one point. I don't think he's there anymore. Maybe he is. He's 159 and 160, so he's just kind of chilling around this range. He might get rare again and bounce back up. And then Ansu Fati is just, again, the epitome of a rare card. So if this dude is anywhere near... 7.30, we'd be chilling. Uh, 7, oh, he's, he's back down again. All right, if I, this guy goes to like 7.30, so I'm going to add one of these to the watch list. If I could snag one at like 6.80 or something like that, I would feel really confident about a flip on an Ansu Fati. Don't see any on bid at the moment, but that's the kind of stuff you can be doing on this market, watching the rare cards fluctuate. Um, and then again, the cards, if we're going to get more lightning rounds today, honestly, uh, if you have any of the cards that are in Fantasy Foot Team 2, I, I know we said this in yesterday's video as well, but honestly, for these cards, um, I, I would not look. I know they're up. Again, I know Sissoko is 450, 460,000 coins, but usually Wednesdays are a little bit of the tipping point for some of the cards that are in packs. Again, people will know, okay, Division Rivals Rewards are going to supply them a little bit on the market, marquee matchups. So you might see some of these cards dip back down a little bit. Uh, today, depending on what the content is, of course, depending on a lot of things content wise. Uh, but if you want to buy any of these for your team, I'm still pushing the pause button, still waiting on that. Um, just because, you know, we, we never know what's coming later on this week. EA could have a surprise lined up for us. EA could have the first team of the season voting. Now I'm probably stretching that a little bit, still a bit early for that, but uh, still waiting on these cards, being honest. They're rare, just like last week. Um, and, you know, I still think they've got some room to drop today, Wednesday, tomorrow, Thursday, and maybe even uh, Thursday around marquee matchups. We'll take a look at that stuff again on those cards for a little bit of a purchase if you want any of those for your team. So that's kind of what's going on with the market right now. Again, I know it's like, Nate, you're talking about team this season way too early, bro. I, I really don't think that I am though. I really don't think that I am because it's going to be here before we know. It's, it's right around the corner, lads. I'm being honest. It really is. It's going to be a fun time. It looks like somebody else has got their... Uh, Torres is up here undercutting me. GG's. Mine's fresh though, so we'll see who sells. Um, it's going to be fun times for team of the season. That's what I'm trying to do right now is trade it up, get that coin balance up. I know I'm trying to complete Mbappe as well, but once team of the season comes around, all of our teams are so cracked already. Team of the season is going to take our teams to a whole new level, right? So getting those coins for team of the season is very, very crucial. And that's why we're kind of putting in a little bit of a grind, just trying to trade and make as many coins um, as, as possible and uh, get that balance up so we can have a lot of fun during team of the season. So if you do have any questions, feel free to drop them down below. Again, Wednesday, just like Monday, might be a bit of a slower day. Maybe we get the Medina SBC. Maybe we get the showdown. Other than that, team of the week probably today, some lightning rounds, and then uh, we'll see if EA have any other surprises for us today on Wednesday. Again, cheeky plug for the Twitch. Check that link down below. We'll be live streaming during the content drop as always. Twitch.tv slash The Foot Accountant. Make sure to check me out there and uh, join us live for every single day, dropping at the content. So if you did enjoy this video, again, smash a thumbs up on it and subscribe if you are new. Have a great Wednesday. It's been Nate, The Foot Accountant. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.